Last week, Arizona became the 29th state to formally call for a constitutional convention, which would be the first since the original constitutional convention 230 years ago. Here's what that means. If five more states approve, our nation's founding document would undergo open heart surgery at the hands of the nation's legislators and who knows who else. And there are no rules for how this con con would proceed. Gotta give credit where it's due. Republican State Representative Kelly Townsend of Apache Junction has been pushing this for years. Governor Doug Ducey hardly supported it last week when it passed the legislature. Isela Blanc, you were on set on a House committee that heard this bill. Is it time to get freaked out or geeked out about a constitutional convention? All of the above. Let's uh, freak out. Let's geek out. I am. We're really concerned because right now we have a lot of things that are happening, and this could. Think, spin things out of control. Uh, like you said, we have not had a constitutional convention in over 200 years. There has never been an Article 5 um, constitutional convention. It's worrisome. So it, it's, is it the unknown that led you to vote no on this in committee? Absolutely. It is the unknown and also um, lobbyists and special interest groups could certainly take a big bite out of that apple. Chad, when you and I talked, you were a little geeked out and so was I. This is just fascinating. So give yeah, us I mean, the, the geeked out side. Well the, the founders knew that the country and the dynamics of the country would change and so they made sure that there was a broad consensus requirement to be able to hold one of these. I think you need 34 states. You 30, 34 states. 32 states right now are controlled by Republicans. So um, you know we're close to having this and uh, I'm not too concerned. I think the reason most people want to have it is for like a balanced budget amendment. That's how that it started. States yeah. have to balance budgets. I think most people think that the federal government should have to balance the budget. So when you have to have that broad of a consensus to be able to do anything, uh, I, I think that this is nothing that we should be afraid of. I think it's a pretty exciting function of our constitutional republic. But there are no rules, and they could consider anything. What about the unintended consequences, well, like it, it be, This is This is the reason, frankly, that former Senate President Andy Biggs always opposed this and wouldn't let this go through in the Senate, uh, because he was sort of in the... <clears throat> John Bircher mentality that uh, there's too many great things in this Constitution that could get undone. But I think really personalities are fascinating here. Um, the, the, lead, the ones that have been calling for this for years in, in the media have been Rush Limbaugh, Mark Levin, uh, Sarah Palin, Sean Hannity. Believe me, none of these folks are Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> we had Hamilton. No Sean Hannity musical? No, we had Hamilton around, you know, over a couple hundred years ago to get this done right. It's a scary thought that this would be opened up. But well, I, I mean, look, the, the people pushing the balanced budget amendment in this change are people like Governor Kasich, um, centrist Republicans that understand that, you know, the conservatives I've seen opposing this, they're afraid of a balanced budget amendment because of increases in revenue that would have to offset that balance. So, I mean, you're going to have to have a broad consensus to really make any of these amendments. But I, I think it's something we should celebrate rather than be afraid of. Is there one thing you'd want out of a constitutional convention? One change anywhere you can, you can think of. I'm kind of putting you on the spot here. I, I think I'd rather just elect good people uh, to utilize the existing constitution. It's over the decades and hundreds of years, it's proven to be flexible enough to get the job done. Don't screw it up. As you were sitting in committee, was there one thing you thought about, you know, that might be a good idea? Oh my God, no, it's a hot mess. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's scary, it's frightening, and like you m mentioned earlier, there's no way to control what discussion's gonna happen, so we could get rid of our Second Amendment rights. Ooh. Arizona's constitution strengthens those, and you could see strengthened protections, too, as well, out of there. Donald Trump would be going after your fake news, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. First yes or no? Minutes. Yes or no answer. Will this happen? Yes or no? No. Chad? I think they'll fall a little short. Fall short? No. And I pray we fall short. Okay. <laughs> All right. When we come back, President Trump's first budget and the impact on Arizona. Stay with us.